Hey, I'm Joy David. So today I'm gonna to compare the iPhone XS Max and iPhone 11, but few things to keep in mind. I won't ever suggest you to buy a used iPhone XS Max over a new iPhone 11. So this comparison is mainly for those people who are buying the iPhone 11 and iPhone XS Max used. Both are used in the market, you're gonna find them in the similar price. So that's why I'm comparing them. But here's the thing, there is still reason to buy the iPhone XS Max over iPhone 11. So you have to keep in mind, okay? Just don't go for the iPhone 11. So iPhone 11 is one of the best selling iPhones ever. And the iPhone XS Max is the first iPhone to borrow the Max name and a big screen. But both phones look amazing in the hand because of their curvy sides. Yes, these are curvy than the flat sides of the iPhone 12 or 13 series. So if you love the curvy sides, these are the two phones you need to find. Now you will also find typical iPhone tactile buttons on the left, right side. So it's nothing different. The only difference is that the iPhone XS Max is way too tall and big and the iPhone 11 is quite a bit comfortable in the hand because it's small. It's really small. I mean, not too small. Anyway, if you are thinking of a really small yet premium device, you can go with the iPhone XS, but I'm not comparing the XS because I haven't used the XS, but it's an identical experience to the XS Max. There is no difference between the iPhone XS and the XS Max. It's just the smaller size. Even the battery life is quite a bit similar. I'm gonna come back to the battery life. I'm gonna timestamp everything, so you just can, yeah, switch. Uh, anyway, uh, if you're thinking of the iPhone XS, Ma 10S, you're gonna get it far cheaper than both of these models. So if you want that, you can. Now let me start with the how the whole phone feels like, okay? The, these are curvy phones, so there is no difference, but the difference is in the build quality. The build quality of the iPhone XS Max is better because it has a stainless steel frame rather than the aluminum frame on the iPhone 11. So, so if you want the premium hefty feel in your hand, I think it's the iPhone XS Max. I love holding it over the iPhone 11. But that's not to say that it's bad, but if you're putting a case on it, who cares, right? But still, if you wanna use naked phones, that definitely the XS Max is a winner here because uh, it will get less scratches than the iPhone 11 and also far more premium and solid and it feels premium. That's, that's the thing. Now, in terms of ports and all those stuff, you know that they are identical. So there is no difference in that. There is no uh, microphone jack and all those stuff. There is one lightning cable, both of them support wireless charging. So it's kind of similar in that department. But if you want to buy in colors, then iPhone 11 is the winner. Because even in the used market, you're going to get red, green, white, black, yellow, pretty much a lot of colors. Well, the XS Max, it's only the space gray white or silver and also the gold color mine one is the gold color and you know it, it's a beautiful looking one but it's still both of them have glossy finish and uh, that's probably it now if you look at the weight of the phones then the iphone XS max is definitely heavy 204 gram to be exact and the iphone 11 is around 194 so it's not light either okay now the bigger thing the display well i know a lot of people will just straight out say that the iphone XS max has a better display but that's not to say that the iPhone 11's display is any bad. It's nowhere bad, but it just, if you compare them, iPhone XS Max is the winner, regardless of whichever angle you see. So uh, let me give you a small example. The example is like this. If you play an HDR video, the difference is in front of your eyes. Even though the peak brightness is not that much, but still you are gonna see the OLED quality in it. The deep dark black, so either way, I would say the XS Max is a winner in terms of display, not by the size, the size is bigger here. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't like the bigger size phones because I have an iPad. So if I want a big size device, I, I will choose the iPad over iPhones any given day. Not the iPad mini. But uh, if you look at the overall quality, I think it's the XS Max any given day. Because the iPhone 11 has an LCD panel and it's a little over 720p, a little over 720p. So even though technically you can play 1080p videos, like not technically like uh on the phone there is option but technically you can't actually play because it's a 720p display a little over 720p so that's that uh, i have also seen one other thing that if you're trying to use a screenshot for uh, any kind of purpose like if i am taking a screenshot from like a, let's say someone's uh stories instagram stories and then i want to make it a wallpaper even though i don't need to because i have my own wallpapers right here i have created you can check out link down below or you can go to my website to check them out but if i do that the iPhone 11, you know, like screenshots on the iPhone XS Max looks really, really stupid. Like it looks like a little bit blurry, a little bit. 
well the iPhone XS Max screenshots are like just crazy clear because that is a high resolution display. Now that I know that that's a stupid uh, you know example, but still you know I I needed to say that. So I have noticed the iPhone 11's display to be a little bit awkward in certain places. Like so, when I was watching a video how to code an app like uh, on Swift Playgrounds on iPad. So while I was learning that, I found out that the iPhone 11's display is like really too low resolution to look at the codes like uh, it feels a little too like a uh, blurry in terms of um the codes i, I couldn't see them properly well the tennis max it was pretty much clear at the full resolution the 1080p i'm talking about so that, that that's the thing and these are small things that i'm saying because i have a very deep experience with both of these phones so that's what i'm saying it otherwise there is not so much of a difference in day-to-day -day usage you're not gonna feel both of them are 60 hertz i don't feel that 60 hertz and 120 hertz any different because i have the ipad pro m1 which has the pro motion display but uh, in terms of uh, everyday usage i never felt that it's really smooth in some cases i feel like that most of the, most of the time no the next one is face id well how can you not talk about face id in this phone so right it's there with a big fat notch both of them have similar notch but the iphone 11 has more bezel so it may feel a little bit cramped in the screen where the you know iphone 10s max has quite a bit big display so it doesn't feel that much but yeah the notch is there it's similar size and both of them have similar kind of face id there is no difference in it it's just identical the performance is identical the same way it unlocks same way you have to swipe up it's whether it's fast or slow it's the same way like if it's fast then both of them are fast if it's slow then both of them are slow it's clunky it's not the best experience with a face id all the time like if you're paying something it's fast but if you are doing some something like a, the, the phone is on the table you want to unlock mm, and not the great experience but yeah that's what you're buying right iphone not iphone in terms of charging if you're buying used or even renewed product if somebody is providing you the charger then the iphone tennis max came with a 5 watt adapter 5 watt adapter the same goes for the iphone 11 it also came with a 5 watt adapter and if you are buying from someone who bought recently in 2020 like 2020 october at the time then you're gonna get no chargers in the box so if you're thinking you should buy an apple adapter the usb-c adapter yeah that would be a better experience or you can buy any other fast adapter and usb -A cable to lightning cable or whatever they both have a slight bit of fast charging like 20 watt 18 watt kind of fast charger so you can use that adapter it will charge quite a bit fast and uh, the charging time is more or less similar in both of these phones more or less similar i would say like the iphone 11 charges a slightly faster but uh, i can't really confirm that thing because i don't charge it like that with zero to 100 but yeah you still can find that thing and both of the phone are glass back so you have wireless charging there's no problem in it but at 7.5 watt max that's kind of really bad now let's talk about the battery or battery life should i say the iPhone 11 has 3,110 mAh battery. The iPhone XS Max has 3,174 mAh battery. Quite a bit of similar. But the experience is slightly different. Not too much. So with the latest update, I found out like the iPhone XS Max just, you know, it's it's not that stable battery life because at, at like uh, the 10%, it will go down real fast. The iPhone 11 will hold on to the 10% a little bit more. So you have that thing, but overall the experience is more or less similar in day-to-day -day usage. Like if you use the normal Instagram, social media, Facebook, I don't know who uses Facebook, but I, I do sometimes. Um, these stuff and WhatsApp chat a little bit, uh, browsing in Safari, um, a little bit of YouTube, a little bit of YouTube music, Apple music, whatever you prefer, or Spotify, and tons of call, like two, three hours of calling every day. If you do all these things, then I think this phone will survive you pretty properly, like seven hours screen on time, if you can get a charger then seven hour screen on time um, and if you just go from 100 to zero this way then it's around six hours my iphone 11 battery life usually you know like a six hours screen on time now the screen on time is not perfect thing to measure anyway but still you're gonna get a good battery life that's what i can say but it's not best nowhere and the iphone tennis max is more or less similar but if you have charges lying around in your office where you work or in your home if you walk like me like from the home then yeah i have charges around so it doesn't matter but still the battery life is good but nothing to brag about nothing and if you are a moderate user then yeah the battery life would be like 10 percent probably at the time of dinner that's that's kind of it and if you're buying them as a secondary phone then i think 
yeah, you don't have to worry about at all. Like they're gonna last you a long, long time. And the you know standby time, you know, battery life training is not that much, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you are buying used, definitely that's why I'm making the video. Then the battery health might be down to 80% or 85%. I'm not suggesting you to buy a phone with a 80% battery health because that time you have to change the battery immediately after that. Uh, but here's the thing: if you want to change a battery, it won't cost you a ton either like it's just 50 bucks 70 bucks around that anywhere you go so if you are thinking of this thing like you're buying a used iphone then you have to keep in mind that you may have to change the battery via apple like the apple store or anywhere i don't know so if you're doing that it's it will cost you 50 bucks more so keep that in mind and if you're buying a renewed iphone like a refurbished or stuff like that amazon renewed or stuff like that then you don't have to worry about that that much so if you want to know about the my phone's battery health well the iphone 11 is at 95 percent battery health while the iphone 10s max i recently changed the battery so that's why it's giving that kind of good battery life which is uh 100 battery health definitely now i there is few other things that you need to keep in mind when buying the iphone 10s max and iphone 11 even with the 100 percent battery the iphone 10s max will drain the battery even faster because the a12 isn't that efficient and the on top of that it has to drive more pixels because it's high resolution display and if you put wallpapers like crazy vibrant color wallpapers at a high brightness you keep it yeah it will it will drain the battery a lot faster than the iphone 11. in terms of draining the battery department iphone 11 isn't anything great either but still slightly better than the iphone 10s max that's it now let's come to the camera the camera quality overall well the iphone 11 is a winner in terms of main camera quality but wait a minute if you're thinking the iPhone XS Max has like camera quality like from 90s, no, it's not. It's really good. In terms of day-to-day -day, day life experience, I, I think I would say like both of them are equally great. But if you zoom in in the photos, then you're going to find more details. Details, it's not, uh, it's not actually details. It's more like sharpen, artificial sharpening going on with the iPhone 11. So that's what you're going to find. The HDR experience is more or less similar in terms of photos, whether you take a selfie photo or even a rear camera photo. In day life, I'm talking about. In the night, it's a totally different experience. The iPhone 11 is really great at that. The iPhone XS Max is just like a loser. A loser, total loser. Why I'm saying it? Because there is no night mode in the main camera. I'm still talking about the main camera, by the way, as of now. So the main camera with you know like ample light you're gonna great source with the uh, the night mode on the iphone 11 while the iphone 10s max will like purely noisy grainy blurry photos even i don't know what not now if you talk about the secondary camera then here's a big difference if you prefer telephoto camera 10s max if you care about the wide angle camera iphone 11 i love the telephoto camera as well as the wide angle camera but i don't use them that much so it doesn't matter to me but either way, these two cameras will lose their quality in night pretty much instantly. But in the day life, both of them will have good HDR processing. Both of them will look good. So if you want zoom camera, 10s Max. If you want like wide angle shots, you love that wide angle field of view, the 11. That's great. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about the iPhone 10s Max's day-to-day -day life camera quality. It's, it's pretty much on par with the iPhone 11. Just a little bit of here and there difference, but it doesn't matter. The, and the color saturation um, like, are identical most of the time because it's more close to the natural thing. So, you know, iPhone camera quality, you get the point. It's not saturated that much like uh, usual other uh, past Samsung used to do. So, yeah. And in terms of video, you can see how it does look like, right? Um, in the artificial lights. It's iPhone 11 that is shooting the video. So yeah, in terms of video, the iPhone 11 has a better advantage in certain scenarios, but in the day life, they're more or less similar. But iPhone 11 has much better st stabilization. I don't know how they did it, but they did it great. The iPhone 11 probably has electronic image stabilization as well as optical image stabilization. And that's the probably reason why it's so stable. Like it feels like a gimbal, uh, even with the wide angle camera and day life videos. But iPhone 10s Max will not give you that always feel that that much but yeah it's not bad but it's just a little bit more shaky compared to the iphone 11's video in day life i'm talking about in the night yeah both of them will struggle but iphone 11 still will still give you better video quality than the iphone 10s max but in terms of the uh, secondary camera i think both of them are different so i can't really compare them but and both of them in the night are just like garbage quality so you don't have to look at that uh, in the day life if you capture both of them are quite a bit good i have tasted out their their 
capable there is in a variety of scenarios in like uh, different different lighting situations and they are, both have good camera quality in daylight like you can go with either one of them for the cameras but if you are trying to think of a video like you, you shoot the videos for bizarre reason like you love shooting videos i think it's the iphone 11 forget about the display okay one of the things you need to know the iphone 11 can shoot at 4k 60 fps from the front camera while the iphone 10s max will be only up to 1080p 60 fps there is no 4k so if you want the 4k from the selfie camera you are a blogger or stuff like that the iphone 11 is the better one now let's talk about the CPU and the performance. The iPhone 11 is powered by a 7nm hexa-core Apple E13 Bionic chip with 4-core Apple GPU. The iPhone XS Max is powered by 7nm hexa-core Apple E12 Bionic. Yes, it's A12 Bionic with 4-core Apple GPU, which is also really good. Now, which one is better? Definitely the iPhone 11 with A13 will be better, but if you compare them in day-to-day -day life, there is no difference at all. Like I have tested out, yeah, I have done some different kind of testing as well like i exported a video on this the same video the edited full fledged edited video like this from my ipad to the i exported that to the iphone 10s max as well as the iphone 11 i exported the identical times so there is no difference in it but one thing i've seen is that the e13 is somehow a little bit of power efficient and that's the only thing i would say about it in the benchmark you might see a big difference or might not but in day to day life there is literally no difference i would I've just straight, straight out say that there's no difference at all both of them has different storage configurations the iphone 10s max came with either 64 gigabyte or 256 gigabyte while the iphone 11 has 64 128 and 256 so you have another option in between the 128 but if you're buying from the used market i think you should at least go with the 256 for the iphone 10s max and 128 gigabyte for the iphone 11 don't go for the 64 gigabyte you're gonna regret it and both of them have 4GB of RAM, which doesn't really make sense in the iOS world that much because in terms of multitasking, it's identical. It's identical almost all the time. So there is no difference. But I have seen one thing that I've seen more throttling in terms of performance in the iPhone XS Max with the latest update in a way like if the phone is draining the battery fast, like let's say I'm shooting a video and then I'm immediately going from, from the camera app to the home and then I'm started doing something, then I feel that iPhone XS Max get really warm and it throttles the performance a little bit while well, the iphone 11 is slightly more efficient in that department not by much but there is a thing i have seen the difference so i'm just saying you but it's not different not not drastic now both of the phones are dual sim in through the e-sim route yes a one you know physical sim and one e-sim so yeah and there is no sd card slot if anyone is asking now both of them have ip60 dust and water resistant rating but if you're buying used don't trust them yes not at all don't do it and there is dual sim capability as i said um there is no 5g don't ask that either and uh, yeah there is one thing there is ultra wideband chip inside the iphone 11 so if you are thinking of using it with the air tags then it's the iphone 11 if you're thinking of uh, having a phone that you can find even after getting switched off then it's the iphone 11 because it is the ultra wideband chip it will work like an ear tag um and there is uh the home pod if you have a home pod mini you want to use the you know handoff feature or whatever they say it iphone 11 not the iphone 10s max but that's a small thing all right now let's talk about the speakers well the speakers are equally loud on both of the phones there is hardly any difference in terms of loudness but there is a big difference in terms of quality the iphone 11 has a much richer and basier quality but phone speakers are phone speakers they can't really compare with an ipad speaker like i when i use an ipad speaker uh, either way i'm not impressed by phone speaker at all never i i will never be impressed by phone speakers but still they both are loud crystal clear both of them studio quality that the earpiece is also a speaker so if you are thinking about that yeah it's good but i would suggest you to buy headphones they will have give you more better quality but overall for a normal day-to-day -day usage yeah by the way in terms of software updates um even though they're going to be almost identical but iphone 11 might just give you way more software updates because iphone 11 is being sold alongside the iphone 13s uh so you get the point that like if apple is selling today then apple should support it for five freaking years from now on so in that way it will get seven years of software updates i mean theoretically or going by the past it seems like that uh like the iphone 6s uh it might just give you but iphone 10s max pretty much clear that it will give you five years of software update it came with uh i don't know ios 13 it came with i think ios 12 
or 13 i forgot about that if anyone is buying they're buying it for two or three years max um in that department i think both of them are identical and if you want to extend it even further than that then yeah the iphone 11 would be a better one now the end part uh who should buy the iphone 10s max and who should buy the iphone 11 i'm not gonna take the app software update right now okay just everything else if you are someone who is thinking of starting a youtube channel or you want to do vlogging uh you want those things you want a creative person who is going to use video camera also luma vision to edit the videos then i think it's the iphone 11 you should go for forget about the display it's still accurate it's still a great display the color the, there is no difference in colors okay the this is the best of apple's lcds so yeah you go for the iphone 11 but if you're thinking of an iphone that will do the day-to-day -day task like phone call text and chat and all those stuff and then sometimes you're gonna do uh you enjoy the netflix or maybe youtube or stuff like that then it's the iphone 10s max that you go, should go for because it has bigger display it has OLED display which is way way better than the iphone 11 but iphone 11 is not bad but just way way better you experience over there if you're just gonna use it this casual way but if you're someone who is using it for like a secondary device then you can go with either one of them and they're really great and if you are someone who is not keen about the display that much, who is not keen about uh, the premium build quality, you're going to use a case on it. But you care about cameras in a way, like in the night, you're going to probably going to capture one photo, uh, but it has to be a good one, not a blurry, messy one. If you're taking a video, it has to come out the best. If you're taking a video at the night, it has to come out pretty good. If you're taking a photo, from the selfie camera or video from a selfie camera it has to come out good like it, it doesn't need to be a messy one go for the iphone 11 you're not gonna regret it but if you are someone who doesn't take advantage of the performance or the camera quality then i think it's better to leave with a better display phone because because the display is something that you interact with all the time the display is what you look at all the time the display is what people will look at if you're in the public place so you better buy iPhone XS Max. So I think that's probably it. There is nothing else to say about these two phones. I mean, these two phones are great phones. I mean, great build quality. Every way, they are more or less similar. There is slightly bit of difference. It's just the preference. What you prefer, what you uh, like prioritize. So if you prioritize these things, then go with the iPhone 11. If you prioritize these things, then go with the iPhone XS Max. It's kind of like that. So I think I have summed up the video pretty well or pretty oddly. But anyway, that is, that is probably it. And yeah, I have to end it right here. I think I had fun making this whole video. It was not scripted at all. I just like said whatever I, I had in my mind. And I think you are satisfied enough with the video. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys want to see more episodes like this, please hit the like button and please do subscribe and definitely visit my website. It's for everything tech. Join david.com, link down below. Or just watch my other videos. Bye and take care.